And we're back. All right. I added a couple of things real quick. I added just uh, renamed the cave so there was something to go to. Um, and I added this text so that it would just stay there and rename this so it should all work. I haven't, there's an error and I don't know where it is. <laughs> Is it here? Is it these guys? Is that my problem? I don't think that's my problem. I think those were working on it. So, big thing about programming. Um, can I have to deal with <laughs> errors like this? A lot. It's weird though. I think it's in branch C. I think it's this thing that's messing it up, but I don't know why. Because there's more than one line within the stitch. Yeah, no kidding. So I'm going to reopen this again and see if that will help. The software is good, it just uh, it gets a little buggy sometimes. That's in branch B? not I was just misinterpreting that something here.
Is the issue that I'm calling Static Cave from after it? Does that make sense? That's interesting that this so how did I completely break it? It was working before. Could it be? <sighs> hmm. So I don't think it's this. I don't think this is the problem. It's telling me line 10. my problem with this then? God. So what's the issue? What's, what's the issue? I put static cave there. Oh, the issue is here, I bet. Is this gonna be the issue? I bet you this is the issue. Oh, you know what? Is it here? It's f ah! ah! Of course. Of course that's where it is. The one place I didn't look.
We got there. We got there. If I click here, it gives me the options, right? So why? Weird. Very, very weird. I don't know why it does that. What do you mean, Johnny? at this time or this project or the way I'm sitting. <laughs> uh, I think so. I think so. But I'm not 100% about that yet. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Let me do this. it's this it is it was totally that that was the problem gotcha fix it I want to mark this as a permanent thread, uh, which I believe is a plus sign instead of a thing. What, what just happened? Did I crash it? I did, I did crash it. It, uh, it actually says Masters of the Strim Stram Universe, but you can't see the Masters, it's too high. Wow, I totally crashed it, oh my god. Task Manager. I broke it. So now, 
search the shack and go back outside, I can still go and search the shack and go back outside. Excellent. Got that done. All right. Okay. Now, where were those if statements? Um,
Okay, I got it. Found my Elsif. How are you going to boost your inspiration, Drowning? How do you train that? I'm not saying you can't, and I actually think it's a really good idea. I'm just wondering what your approach will be. do this using the cool tunnel feature I saw, but these aren't really as freestanding as they seem. So I'm going to say go back to uh, cave entrance. Yes, that's what I want. Hoping they can store negative numbers. It shouldn't be an issue, but you know, just in case. Then what I want to do is I want to put an if statement here. I want to say if um, God, what was my variable? Get 
and things. In scene prologue, right. to do these as the this. Sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, Jesus. Is that not a logic or sequence? Confused. Oh, I gotta use equals equals. Gotcha. The Boolean test. Of course. Of course. Um, this will be. Perfect. It does exactly what I wanted to do. So if I go back a step, if I go inside this shack and go back outside, it'll still show me the thing. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That was an important thing. So 
now I just gotta program the cave. We got ten minutes. Put another conditional statement here. Don't need that statement. If uh, as torch is greater than zero, then do this. Give them the option of. put in our else. We go inside the cave. Perfect. As torch plus one. Save. Shack. Whoa. Back. Starting again. What the hell? I broke it. That solved most of the problem. Is he now? What questions is he asking? Perfect. I realize I want these to be permanent. Well, I guess this doesn't matter.
I see what I need to do here. What I should do is I should Yeah, well, I'm actually really, really close to finishing this. So I want to put on the last couple of things really, really quick so I can actually be done uh, and maybe move on to the next sort of step in my plan. gonna do my to do's real quick in two minutes um, and then I will call it a stream an interesting thing. Go back. Oh god, I gotta I gotta end the thing. So if I go inside the cave and go back. Go inside the cave again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Cool. Anyway. Um put my OBS here. Uh, that's it for me today. I've pretty much fill, finished the actual interactions of this. There's just a couple of uh, flavor things, other than the interview with the witness, which I think actually needs to happen. Uh, yeah, mostly just flavor stuff left. Um, so I'm basically where I want to be, where I can move on to doing uh, some some Unity coding and play around with this, see what I, see what it can do, um, work on the prototype. Uh, so yeah, I've been really enjoying uh, this sort of scripting language that feels like writing, like, and that's what's so intriguing about this, and, you know, being in creative and being a writer and doing all this stuff is, this is writing, like, I'm, I'm literally writing text, and then... Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, of course I'm writing text. I'm literally writing a story and then adding little bits in which make it interactable and make it a game and give you choices and branches and interesting things. 
so yeah it's f cool it's very cool um, but it's three o'clock so stream for this week is over unfortunately um, my name is Brendan this is accidental origin your weekly writing rep show as always you can check out all the VODs on the URL right over there follow me on Twitter if you want to see updates and or uh, let me know what you think Questions, comments, uh, offers of free food. I don't know. Do what you got to do. Um, but yeah, that's me. This is what I'm working on. Peace out.